Thank you. It's six weeks out from the Alabama primary election and negative political ads are everywhere. Tonight, a look at how effective those ads are with voters. CBS 42's Jen Cardone joins us live tonight with some answers. Jen. Yeah, that's right, Sherry. Elections are heating up here in central Alabama as candidates are taking on a different approach as we get closer to that May 24th primary. Does KIV make sense to you? Candidates taking a more negative approach to campaigning is to be expected as election day gets closer, according to our CBS 42 political analyst. They wouldn't do it if they didn't work. But it's time to start blaming the unvaccinated folks, not the regular folks. A newer ad from Lindy Blanchard doing just that. You'll be able to look up what we say to see that it's fact. I believe it's okay to state the truth. Governor Ivey and the political crowd found a way to raise taxes forever without having to vote on them. I wouldn't exactly call them negative. I'd call them truth. Tim James saying it's part of the game. That's just a typical discourse in a governor's race. And this is an Alabama governor's race, which means this is extra tough. Our political analysts saying the negative ads do work, but don't take the voter to another candidate. And that's the problem is they may pull people off of Kay Ivey, but where do they go? I feel like this state deserves better, and I appreciate what she's tried to do and her term, and I think it's time to take the ship out of port and move it forward. Now, we did reach out to the KIV campaign for comment. We're still waiting to hear back. Again, that election coming up in six weeks from today on May 24th. Reporting live in Coleman tonight, Jen Cardone, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.